I think the economy is dominating the minds of voters here. But I think also it's a choice for them to uh, either choose between the status quo. We've seen military-backed parties ruling this country since the coup in 2014. And I think we've seen from the polls and the build-up to the election that many people do want change. They are not particularly happy with the state of the economy. They weren't very happy with the way the coronavirus pandemic was handled. And they want a more progressive, more forward-thinking government. There are lots of people turning out here where we are in the north of Bangkok. We understand that's the case all around the country today. The Election Commission says as many as 85% of voters could turn out. They've got a large number of people to choose from, 70 parties on the ballot paper. But it is that basic stark choice between status quo and change. I think a lot of voters also recognize that the vote they cast today won't be the end of this matter. This is just the start of the process. The Election Commission, which has favored the military back governments in the past is already investigating the two main parties of opposition. Also, anyone who wins this election has to get over the military-backed Senate, uh, which is 250 votes, and it looks like at the moment as if no one will get the overall majority they need of 376 votes. I think also there's a hope here that from voters that if they come out in, the large, in very large numbers and if their choice is, is very clear, then there won't be the option for too many people to interfere with the result.